Now from the home of the Angels for nearly a half century, there's a look at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Angels baseball, and it's coming up next. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. For Tampa Bay. Center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. And the first pitch of the night here is taken for ball one, and we're underway in Anaheim. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Riding in, Brad Miller. His past history with Richards. He's got five base hits in an 18 at bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Coming to the plate now, Evan Longoria. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Evan Longoria becomes the first out of the inning. Matt Duffy is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Down and away, ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Digging in, Colby Rasmus. Colby His past Rasmus. history with Richards. Four hits in 16 tries. A high fastball is in there. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Corey Dickerson is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. Now, Matt, that's a great pitch. I mean, look, he's in a jam. So, what do you do? You go with the slider. To... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Bottom of the first straight ahead as Yunel Escobar steps in to get and him started. Up for the Halos, third baseman, Yunel Escobar. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One strike now from Archer. And Escobar swings right through that one as he falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Casale. And the throw is there to record the first out. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. Head to head against Chris Archer. Have yielded just a two for 12. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Pulled toward right center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. Two gone. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. No one Center aboard for him, fielder. and two gone here Mike. in the first. Wow. Into the windup and the pitch. Damn and he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Chop weakly to the left. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Batting fourth. Here's Albert now. He takes his Albert. first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. First offering on its way. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Archer comes set. Here's the 0-1. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Oh. 
grounded weakly toward third. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Stepping up now, Steven Souza. His Leading past history with Richards, right one for six. Point. He also Steven has one home Sousa. run. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. and oh. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. Nope. 3-0. and oh. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. Takes this the other way to right. Calhoun is there and he makes the catch for the out. Ready now, Logan Morrison, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. On to first, and there were two down. Now to the plate, Kurt Casale. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Uh, chased after that one, and it's nothing and one. And he one misses with strike. it, one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hey. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And he lays no, off it to even ball. the count, two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit to short, taken in by Simmons. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's Luis Valbuena now. Head to head against and Chris Archer. He's 0 for 9. First He's also baseman. gone down on strikes Luis five times. Valbuena. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And now is Andrelton Simmons. The shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Very weakly on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the left fielder, Cameron Maben. Archer's ready. Here comes the first pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. 2 0. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Line to the right side. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Striding in once again, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll start Tampa things Bay. out against Garrett Center Richards Fielder. as we get the Kevin inning underway. Kiermaier. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time well, to use that aggressiveness strike. and make him chase now. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around strike. the shoe tops. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first down of the number inning. 13. Second Stepping in and ready for another Brad shot, Brad Miller. Miller. He was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ah. ball. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. The 0-2 once more. 
And the 0 2 here is fought off at the plate and will do it again. That misses oh, one and that. two. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. That was a fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. And another foul ball. That was the fifth foul ball in this at bat. He's seeing a lot of pitches. Hit out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Baseman, 0 for 20. 1 here in the Evan early going. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. Hit down the third baseline. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Long throw to third, and he is in there. The batter, number five. Ready for another chance. Shortstop. Matt Duffy. Matt 0 for 1 Duffy. for him here in this one. And he takes ball one. Well, that's a tempting pitch right there. You got that runner on third base. You're looking for something to drive. You want the ball up. But it was a good layoff. Not the pitching. Definitely wanted to hit. But it was tempting, no doubt. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Tried to crush that ball. And now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Calhoun. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Colby Rasmus. Colby Rasmus is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And this is fouled back and out of play. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. In now, Martin Maldonado will stand in against Chris Halo. Archer to get the inning underway. Archer. Martin Maldonado. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Rasmus is under this one. One pitch, one away. Into the box Danny now. Mike. Danny Espinosa had the head against Chris Danny Archer. Espinosa. One for five. <laughs> Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Hey, you can't let that bother him right there. This might be a good time for the catcher to have a little conversation. Just tell him, next pitch, don't worry about that one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's in there, base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Third Digging baseman. in for his second at bat, Yunel Escobar. Escobar. He went down swinging to start the home first. First pitch coming, here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one on the first. And he really paid the price at second base. But it at the plate, Corey Dickerson. He'll lead off things off bat. here in this one run Designated contest. Bat. Corey Dickerson. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And here's a curveball. Looked at strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. Into the windup and the pitch. Steven Souza is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's one and oh. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Here it comes on one and one. And that misses two and one. 
balls, One run on three hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Curveball misses here, so a good hitter's count now to three and one. This is one of those rare hitter's counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. And this is going to be a foul ball. A one pitch on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Throw won't get him. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Again, he sends it out of play. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And this one gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now batting. Ready with the Catch first it. pitch. Here it comes. Kirk, Kirk no, Casale is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. Ball. ball one. Outside, two and, two and one. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Mm, three and two. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And that misses. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a two-nothing game. First pitch of the at-bat. Kevin Kiermeyer is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off, even if you know it's coming. Look, two strike slider on the back foot. That's a classic pitch, but he did a nice job of laying off it. He's set. Here's the three and two. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready once again, Brad Miller. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, that looked like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to. Paul Calhoun will stand in. Leading off the fourth inning for the Angels. Right fielder, number 56. First pitch on its way. And we'll start the inning off with an easy fly ball to straightaway left. And Rasmus is there to put this ball away for route number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. Man I tell you what I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that you set yourself up for great success. Throw to first will get him already two away here in the home court. Here's Albert now. Five. Comes into this Albert. at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Archer looks in. Here comes the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. Well, they have been really aggressive swinging early in the count, early in this game, and that's twofold. You're either not going to get a high pitch count from the pitcher, which could go against you, or. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Leading Evan Longoria. One for two with a double three. on the ledger so Evan far. Longoria. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Swinging a soft liner. And this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. 
Digging in once again, Matt Duffy. He hit a sack fly earlier. Duffy. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Calhoun coming on. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in, Colby Rasmus. Hope for one for him here in this one. Turned on down the line. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. Ready for another shot Remember, now. Corey 10. Dickerson. No hits Designated in two hitters. trips to the plate Corey for him in the ball game. Dickerson. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Lays off again and it's 2 0. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Hey. 2 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a ball hit in the air but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Here's Luis Valbuena now. He'll lead things and off as we off begin the home fifth. First baseman. Into the Luis windup and the pitch. Valbuena. Favorable call in there for a strike. Here we are in the middle innings, Matt, and he's over 80% first pitch strikes on hitters. You wonder why he's dominating right now. That's a great ratio, getting ahead and getting them out. Kiermaier is right there, one down. Now batting. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. Here's Cameron Mabin now. Comes now into batting. this at bat 0 for Left 1 in the ball game. Cameron Mabin. First pitch on its way. That's and that one stayed too low apparently. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there double play situation two balls down in the zone trying to get that ground ball didn't get them to bite at either one now he's behind in the count two and oh on to Morrison and it's in time a double play in the side leading off for Tampa Bay the right fielder number 20 Steven Sousa. new pitcher coming on now the right hander Yusmero Petit pitching for the Angels number 36 Newsmero Partite. Right. Tough slider down low for a strike. Deep Waved up. at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Can't get him That's to chase. Ball. It's 1 and 2. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2. But you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. He throws him on the breaking ball that First time. Steven seven. Souza is retired Logan to kick Morrison. off the inning. Logan Morrison comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And this is fouled back and out of play. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Good change no, up that, that time, that but he ball. wouldn't bite on it. There's that classic 0 2 change up. That is such a tough pitch to lay off. Nice job of hitting right there. Look, the reason it's tough is because the fastball looks just like the change up coming out of the hand. You got to honor the fastball, no, and then he pulls the string on you. Nice take. Two, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Mm. Three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a change up. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now batting, catcher. Kurt Casale oh, is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Here's the 1-0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Here's another 1-2. Curve ball bounces and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And he got him. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. He was a ground out victim last time out. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the 
Ready for another chance. Martin Maldonado. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Martin Maldonado. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Danny Stepping in Espinoza. and ready for another shot, Danny Espinoza. One for one after a single his first time up. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Ready once again, Yunel Escobar. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ball one. Matt, this is one of those games that has that guy right there, his head scratching. He's trying to figure out, how do I get these guys going? We may see a team meeting to motivate him a little bit better. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings. Leading Ready for another Rays. shot now. Second Brad baseman. Miller, a hit Brad in two tries so far. Miller. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Another one two delivery. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays second baseman at two and two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses first for the first out of the three. inning. Evan Longoria. Here's a first pitch chop foul right at home plate and that's the first strike. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And a swing and a miss there by Longoria as he can't connect, and that's a big second out Levada, now. Number five, Ready to deliver. Matt Here's the first pitch. Duffy. Matt Duffy stands in as he looks at ball one here. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well, that's a high fastball. The There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Ranging back is Maben. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. Now Digging in to try it again, Colby Rasmus. He's Rasmus. one for two in the ball game. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right oh. down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Hold high in the air out to right field. Calhoun has a read on it. And that retires the side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional. Stepping into the box, Cole Calhoun. He'll Leading start things out here in the bottom right of inning number, number seven. Cole Calhoun. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Your Objective number three. one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Right. 
There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Well, that's another first pitch strike right there. Now he's over 70% so far in this game. First pitch strike to hitters. That's why he's deep in the game right now. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Here's that's, Albert that's now. He's Number 0 five. for 2 thus far Albert. in this one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Souza moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Valbuena. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Pitch is a ball. And he'll just put the tag on him and he's out trying to steal home. No runs, four hits. And no errors to this point for the Angels. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rasmus has a read on it, and that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Corey Dickerson, off with the lifetime against this particular arm. Five Corey for 11. Dickerson. He's taken him deep once. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 0 yeah. to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3 and 2. Steven Souza will be next. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Right. Steven Souza stands Steven in as he can't Souza. connect here. 0 and 1. Mm, got him out on his front okay. foot. It's 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. First baseman number seven. Digging in. Logan, Logan Morrison. A couple of walks for him thus far. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Pitch swung on and missed. The throw is not in time as it was up the ladder a bit, and that'll move a man into scoring position now with one away. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Waved at and missed for the third. Now act. And leading off for the Halo, the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The windup and the 0 1. Grounded to third, taken in by Longoria. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here's Cameron Mabin well, now. Fielder, he comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Cameron Mabin. Swing and a liner. Foul. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Souza is under it, two gone. Digging in once again, Martin Maldonado. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. CJ Crone will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Miller is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is. Ready 
now, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll try and lead things Kevin. off here. Kiermeyer. Cam Bedrosian enters from the now pen to start the, the ninth Angels. inning as he'll try number to keep 32. the score right where it is, and heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now catching number 58, Carlos Perez. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Sent on the ground out to second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. So striding forward now, next, Brad Tampa Miller. Bay. He was sat Second down on strikes in his last at-bat. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. The tag from Simmons, and he is out at second base. 0-2, oh here it is. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, that's a pitch right there you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And, and if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Espinoza is there for it. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Espinoza. Leading one for two on his line so line. far in the game. Second baseman, number three. Line drive to left. Rasmus is there, and he's got that all important first out here to start the ninth. Now batting. Now in the box, Yunel Escobar. Escobar. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, oh, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. That was a good 2 0 oh slider right there. Now you're still sitting 2 1. I continue to look for that fastball, but that was a nice slider right there. Man, I think he thought he was going to get another breaker ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, falling that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. All right. Digging in and looking for more, Cole Calhoun. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Chopped foul wide of first. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Hard liner to center field, but he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about his dominance all throughout the game, and he ended up finishing what he started, a complete game shutout. He's our tops player of the game. Hey, when you basically take a game into your own hands and give your opposition absolutely no chance, you deserve the all the credit in the Ray. world. His Three guys runs, had to score for him, but he essentially was a one-man show out there. Nine runners on base. And the Angels, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left four.